Welcome, I'm Bonnie Saratori, Spiritual Acceleration. Today is the energy update for December, and the topic is hope. When you think about hope, it makes us feel like, oh, maybe something good's going to happen, okay? So when we look at all the past stuff that we've been experiencing and all the angst we've been living, okay, so now we got December, now we got some hope, okay? So hope is something that you know, that when we feel that sense of hope, it brings relaxation, it brings a sense of feeling a little bit more safe, okay? So I just want to describe a little bit what this all means for December. So when I was looking at the frequencies of December and the, and the energy presented as hope, I mean, it doesn't mean that our life isn't going to continue as it is, but there's an energetic frequency and when we think about the new paradigm, okay, the new paradigm, it has all this light shining. And remember how the, the new paradigm, the light is bringing all this energy up from the subconscious to bring to awareness, you know, some of our angst, our, our places where we're wounded, where we've got misperceptions, beliefs, and conclusions. So part of the whole purging, part of the whole thing around the new paradigm is that where we start to shift and change instead of all this negativity that we all hold, uh, we want to lighten up the load and feel, you know, lighter from within. And when we feel that, we actually have more happiness. We have more joy. We have more compassion. Okay. We have more understanding and we feel lighter and freer and it just feels good. Okay. But the journey to that is what we've been in, you know, like the journey to cut, get to this place has been a very long journey. It's been our entire lives. And here we are, you know, here it is December and, you know, the frequency of the new paradigm, the light is shining bright and we've done lots of energies have been lifted up. A lot of things have been cleared and released, more are still coming, but the, the heaviness, the darkness, the blackness of the angst, meaning depression, anxiety, the frequencies of terror and fear and shame and regret and anger and all these big dark energies that we have, it's like those energies had to start coming to the surface. And so when you look at the world and look at what's been happening, the, many people are very much a part of and aware of what's happening. And I mean, of course, there's always people who don't have a clue and, you know, don't, don't watch things or see things and, you know, have their own sheltered lives, which is awesome. But the majority of people have some kind of an awareness. You're out in the world, you're out in the public, you're working, you're interacting, you might have children, you might be going to school, you know, it doesn't matter, but you are in the world. So you're aware of things, whether, you know, you're consciously trying to be aware or not. Some people very much want to know what's happening. So this whole time period is a major shift. And at the new paradigm is definitely a part of uh, what what's taking place for all of us. So when I look at that, the, the frequency of hope for, for December, the reason it's presenting as hope is because there's a frequency of light that's that is of the new paradigm that is shining on the world so it's global it isn't just the united states it's the entire world it's global okay so that light energy has a certain frequency to it okay and it has a frequency the vibrational frequency that is lighter it has a lightness to it so i'm going to just back up a little bit so when we look at some of these other um past uh energy updates you know a lot of stuff is about bringing up to subconscious you know bringing up the darkness the pain all of that and that too is all star also part of the energy of the new paradigm it's just that this particular month the frequency is different okay so when i look at the energy of it it has a little bit of like there's a slight little yellow to it and there's a little bit of a, a whiteness to it and it, it, there's a, a, an energy spark to it as well. So what's happening is just imagine like the sunlight shining. Okay. So you, the sun's shining on you so with the cloud comes, you know, you don't feel the sun, but it's still shining. But with this, this energy of the, that's causing that frequency of hope, it's, it's like the new paradigm the shining of that, is, it's an alignment of a lot of the planets, you know, how things align and then they create a frequency. But the the, um, the movement of the new paradigm, along with the planets aligning and different things that are occurring, it's creating a frequency that has a much more lightness to it and a higher vibration. And it literally does have like 
spark of sparkles in it, like spark sparkly energy, not in a bad way, but in a really good way. So it's like it's shining and it has this like sparkle. So it's hitting our subconscious and it's allowing for that place within where that, that, like we just think about this. We all have that light within. We all have the light of consciousness. Okay. We like, we have, we are all creator incarnate, you know, divine beings in physical form and everyone has the light within. So what's happening is that energy is literally penetrating through our, our energy field, through our subconscious, and it's hitting that place inside where we have our divine light. And it's hitting that energy, you know, in, in the very core of who we are. And in that, it's sparking an energy frequency that's causing a feeling of, of hope. You know, it actually has a quality of feeling even more joyful or maybe even more laughter or even more fun. Something that's lighter from within, okay? So that sparking in the very core of us is happening for everyone, okay? Everyone. And even though... There's still lots of angst happening. There's still lots of energies happening uh, in the world. You know, what I mean by that is there's still uh, people's, you know, like thinking about Israel and Palestine and, and Lebanon and all the things happening there with Ukraine and Russia. Those things are still happening. And then also other things, you know, kind of brewing in other countries as well. All of that's still happening, but there's still a lightening up within, Okay. And this, that's what's the awesome part of the frequencies of the new paradigm when it's shining this amazing light is that no matter who you are, no matter what you're going through, there's still going to be something deeper within, kind of like opposite of feeling anxiety or depression. Okay, A lot of people live with that. That constant never goes away. This is the same, only different, but it's the opposite spectrum of that where it's a higher vibrational frequency. And everyone's feeling it everyone's experiencing it because it's global it's coming from the atmosphere it's coming from the planets it's coming from the universe okay the energy shift of the new paradigm is evolving everything you know the world the planet the earth itself so again human every human is experiencing that so what it means is you can still be going through crisis, okay? You can still be having angst. You can be having losses or changes and things that, you know, we don't, most people don't like change or they want things, you know, not to be changed or some things they want changed, want things better, okay? But there's an emotional angst that people live with a lot because of their wounding that they haven't cleaned up. So what I'm saying is, is that even though you can still be in an angst, even though you know, your wounding can still be present. You can still be having reactions. You can still be experiencing deep emotions like a lot of grief or sadness or feeling out of control or feeling, um, you know, just like feeling forsaken or feeling unloved. Whatever all those feelings are, those are still going to be occurring. But at the same time, it's going to feel lighter because of that frequency that vibrational frequency that's coming from the new paradigm that's hitting the core where we start to feel some kind of hope, okay? Hope. And, and it doesn't matter your beliefs. It doesn't matter, you know, who you wanted for president or didn't want for president. None of that matters. It doesn't matter what you think or believe about, you know, the, the wars that are happening. None of that is going to matter because in the very core, there's a frequency that's getting activated and it's really cool. So that activation literally is coming right into the very depths of and the very core of our divine light. Okay. It's not coming just on the outside, you know, external or even just penetrating a little bit into the physical body. It's going directly into that light. Okay. What that means is when you think about this, okay, so when you think about that light, and everyone is that light, but what it means is that no matter who you are, you may not be aware of your own divinity or your own light, but you are going to have some sense of, wow, this feels good. There's just something, even though there's all this stuff happening, all this trauma, drama, crisis, you know, all these things are happening, but somehow in the very core, in the very core of who we are, we're going to have that energy, okay? The good news is, is that 
it's a it's kind of like an it's um it's not it is an activation but it's not going to end meaning that that light frequency that's coming in that's penetrating into the very core into everyone's light that energy is not going to stop okay so what i mean by that is okay yeah december is the month of hope okay but then here comes january we don't know what that is yet but here comes january well then what what's going to happen with that hope okay the good news is is there is a it, it's not going to just go away it's going to stay there okay so just imagine it's just like this okay something gets activated and it stays activated okay so that feeling of hope is going to get activated and it'll get stronger and stronger as the as the days go by you know early december then by the time we hit you know mid mid december and then even going into the holidays of the christmas and hanukkah and different uh, uh belief system that people have it's just going to just be lighter you know we're going to feel more even you know even things like going to see family and people are like oh no i don't want to do that you know it's an angst whatever there's still going to be something lighter there's going to be more hope within okay and when i'm when we look into the the next year that energy of hope is going to stay in the core Okay, in the core of your being, that, that energy frequency of hope is staying, it's going to be there. It's not going to just go away, okay? So what would be really good for everyone is, you know, take a little time, come back in, come into the self, come into your own divine light. Think about it, okay? We've walked through it before, we can do it again, but you just take your awareness, basically. Like right here, you know, you're, you're looking through your eyes, you're listening, hearing, but you can also take your awareness and come back deep inside. So you're going to take your awareness down into that heart chakra, into the heart center, okay? But you don't want to go right into the chakra itself. You're going to go deep inside, okay? There's an actual frequency that's, it's not really the heart chakra, but it's in that general area of the heart chakra. It's its own energy. It's in its own place, okay? So when you take your awareness, what you're doing is you're looking for your own light, okay? Just close your eyes, looking for your own light. Just imagine and, and imagine you're going down into your body, right into that heart area, and then you're looking for that light, your light. And once you find your light, it doesn't matter if it's like a grain of sand or it's like big ball. It doesn't matter. It's there. Okay. Everyone if, is, has it. If you're alive, you, you have that light. If you don't, you won't have it. Okay. If you're not here. So take your awareness into that light, be blinded by your own light. Okay. And then just be in that energy. And as you're there, the frequency that I'm referring to that kind of like a little bit of a yellow white frequency, it's a different kind of, it's not that Christ consciousness. It's a different uh, yellow okay it's different and it has more of a creamy kind of buttery kind of mm, look to it so as you come in you know you're just going to let yourself be in that light but then you're going to also become aware of that frequency of hope that's in your core okay and as you do that the more you just kind of rest in that or relax into that or just be in that energy not trying to do anything it's not about doing it's about becoming what you already are, okay? So as you just kind of rest in that energy, be in that energy, be in your own light, and then you start to get a sense of, and you start to feel, say, sense, know, hear, taste, smell, that energy of hope in the very core. Once you feel that energy of hope, you're just going to let it expand, okay? Because it has a, a very peaceful feel to it, a calming feel to it, a safe feel to it, it's a high vibrational frequency, okay? And it is literally penetrating everyone. So when you start feeling that and then just work with that or be with that, if you do, if you meditate, you might want to come into this part of your, of your physical body, bringing your awareness in and just being in there in a, you know, your state of meditation. Lots of cool things start to happen when you actually bring, bring your awareness into your own divine light and meditate from there. Okay. So just another cool way to, you know, connect at a much higher vibrational frequency and a deeper level of meditation, okay? And awesome things can happen. Lots of awarenesses can occur when you're meditating from that place within. So 
when you think about hope, you know, we think that there's something good about it. There's something positive about it. It, it feels enriching. It feels um, like somehow we've got something good, some kind of good potential, something positive coming through all these intense times that we're experiencing, which is really cool. We want that. Okay. So December hope. I mean, it's really awesome what's happening for, you know, for December. And it's a shift in the, in the frequency of the new paradigm, meaning the, the frequency of the new paradigm, what it does is like, it's a, it's a, like the dawning of light. Okay. There's a light happening, but as the time goes by, it just gets stronger and brighter and the frequency the it gets a higher vibrational frequency the megahertz of that frequency just get higher and higher and higher so when you are utilizing that frequency and uh, coming in and being with your own light and you're in that higher vibrational frequency what will happen is is it starts to get more expanded okay it gets bigger and bigger so rather than just maybe being a little tiny grain of sand little little or even just a little light no matter what it is, it will just get bigger and brighter from within. When that happens, even though you can still have a you know unconscious wounding, which you know everybody's still got stuff happening, you know on beliefs, misperceptions, conclusions about everything, uh, how we want things to be, controlling you know trying to be in control of other people or don't like something, want it a certain way, and we have all this angst. Well. When you really start plugging into that frequency of hope, you know, it's like no matter what's happening out there, the attachment to it, the trying to control it or change it or manipulate it or not liking it, that begins to change. Okay. Everything begins to change. And in a good way, meaning, you know, it's like, yes, the world's, you know, this is happening in the world. Yes, that's happening. Yes, you know, betrayals, abandonments, rejections, blaming, victimization, wars, hatreds, all that's happening. But somehow you in your own temple, you in your own physical body will feel much more centered, more grounded, stable, okay, and secure. And it's almost like walking through a storm unscathed, if that makes sense, okay? Because when we get stable in our core, you know, and we feel that stabilization, it's like we're not getting whipped around by our emotions. We're not getting whipped around by what's happening externally. Remember, this is a solo journey we're all on together, but we're, we have to live with our own selves. It's, we feel ourselves, we, we live with ourselves, that's what we experience all the time. We're not really feeling somebody else. So you're living in your own temple, but when that temple is feeling good, it's a good feeling. It's a good thing. Okay. So, you know, we all, we all really do want to be happy. We want to be at peace. And this frequency of hope that's coming in, that's hitting that very, very divine light and coming into that divine light is going to help stabilize you. Okay. It's going to be a good thing. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to be coming in and going into the light. You don't have to do anything. You could just be somebody who does nothing. Okay, nothing. You don't do any of your inner work, nothing. It doesn't matter. It's still penetrating and it's still hitting that light. Okay, that's what's that's the cool thing about what's happening. So, you know, again, just, you know, if, you, if you're drawn to that, come on in and play with that because it could be profound. If you're not, don't worry about it. It's still going to happen, okay? It's still going to be hitting that, that light inside, and it's still going to be activating and waking up and creating and causing a sense of stability, okay? A sense of, wow, okay, yes, the world's falling apart, but wow, I'm feeling kind of okay. How cool is that? I mean, you know, really, how cool is that? Especially when our world's falling apart, and, you know, the world out there is falling apart, seemingly, but really it's the divine plan, and... It's the inner world, you know, what the words that we're dealing with that we feel all the time. Every every moment of our lives, we're aware of our own inner world. So when that inner world is somehow feeling more stable, hmm, wow. Yep, it's like walking through the storm and you're unaffected, not attached. It's an awesome feeling. It's a major feeling of feeling free, feeling liberated. Okay, so take it in, welcome it, relish it, and have a blast with it and do what you can or not okay and i just want to remind people that we do have some cool um group clearings coming up in december 
naughty or nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that group clearing would be a fun one. Um, I think what it's really about is like, you know, we, we have these beliefs around naughty or nice or whatever, but for me, it's always neutralizing and clearing so that we're not having an angst or have a belief system happening. And then, um, on the 27th, this is a big one. This is huge. Okay. Ask and receive. See people, people don't know how to ask and they don't know how to receive, or maybe they can ask, but they can't receive. Okay. So we want to release blockages so that you can receive, especially with the, you know, the frequency of hope. We want to be able to completely, really, truly receive the, the vibrational frequency of hope. Again, those kinds of clearings are going to just help you get clearer. It will also help you to feel more stable and, you know, more uh, within your own self, deeper within your own self. Okay. So good, good, great clearings coming up in this month in December. And some, we have an awesome event coming up. This is going to be big. All right. It's a shamanic journey on December 21st from 1 to 2.30, and it's a, it is the journey to ignite your inner fire, and this is on the solstice, December 21st, okay, big one, you want to be there, so check that one out, and I hope to see you there, because it's going to be huge, journey to ignite your inner fire. Okay, so I just want to do a little bit of an activation because I really want your body, your whole being to truly just absorb and take in that frequency. So actually, actually, I just saw something. Okay, there's, okay, this is trippy. I just saw some little resistances. Okay, is this actually people? Is this them or is there interferences? A little bit of both. Okay, so some people do that whole thing where they don't deserve, you know, the belief of not deserving, and then they will block stuff. Okay, other people believe not for them, what would happen for them, for others, but not for them. Okay, so I just want to do just a little, little bit of clearing on that and then an activating that frequency of the hope so that, you know, you can really receive it. Okay, so those energy frequencies that you kind of put the shield up, the block up in your own self, blocking and shielding the frequency of that beautiful light of hope. So the frequencies and beliefs, these are just beliefs, misperceptions, that there's something wrong with you, you're not okay, you don't deserve. So just quickly using that light, releasing those energy frequencies from the subconscious, from your mind, from your beliefs, and a little bit of angst coming in as well. Yeah, 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 clear. Release, 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 release. Release those energies, let go, let go, let go. Clear, 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 clear. Good. Release, release, release. Light, 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 light. Good. Now, I'm going to literally go directly up above you, all the way up, and go all up to your subconscious, super consciousness levels, way up, right there. And I'm going, to, I'm going to go right above that as well. I'm going to go right into the light of all that is. God, creator, consciousness, pure, unconditional love and light that is the all that is now coming all the way down through all the different layer, layers and levels of who you are through the super, super consciousness the oversoul levels god self levels higher levels yes 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 and yeah and the frequencies incarnating levels and then coming right down bringing that light right down bringing it down light 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 coming through all the way down 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 into the heart chakra there we go. And then I'm going to come in right into the frequency of your divine light, the actual light that you are. And then we're going to start releasing and opening up that energy. So the energy frequencies of, of hope, the frequency direct from creation itself, coming through with the frequency of hope, activating that energy, activating, 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 activating. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Light, 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 activating. There we go. Good, beautiful, nice energy of light coming in, activating that divine creator consciousness and bringing in the sparkly energy of hope. 